This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio. And I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Excuse me. I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. Wow, that was a bad start. And I have put a light layer on the top two thirds of it of Floetrol and GAC 800 pouring medium mixed uh, probably Artist Loft or Mead and White. It does not really matter to me, although I would like it a little smoother than it looks right now. So I'm going to just depend on the flow troll to even it out. And it may come into the spin of things because I intend on spinning. I'm going to pour myself a dish of colors, starting with, yeah, where is it? <laughs> I'm going to give myself a little bit of this, whoa, right off, abalone. because I need some base and anytime the abalone shows through it's going to be rainbow prismatic and unbelievably beautiful. Um, this is the shiny taffeta. I'm not sure how much paint I need but it's probably less than I'm going to use. This is the fandango which I'm so happy I made the top larger on. Let me go back again and add some more of that. This is my favorite, um, uh, mm, it's a brand new primary element sorbet. The other two are uh, prison pores. There is a 20% off coupon code below the video. This is Plum Blossom. Frosted Sorbet, it came to me, yay. I want a little bit of weird stuff. This is um, a mixture, a prison pour mixture of sour lemon with a little bit of orange crush. I don't think I want a lot of that. I'm going to put in some prison pour deep amethyst. But I would like to come out a little better than that. And I had a big clot in there. It's good to take the caps off, clean them out once in a while. I actually have a skewer with which has um, a rolled piece of paper towel on one end. I should show that to you if I have it handy, but I think I don't. Maybe another time. This is some boysenberry ginger flower. These are both primary elements. I like the idea of there being a bunch of purple in these colors. I may also, I think I will in fact, grab some of my leftovers if they're cooperative. Try and get the parts that aren't too gloppy. They may be retired shortly, I'm pretty sure there's a good chance of that. I'm going to throw, this time, I'm going to throw a little Mayan gold in, which can't hurt the leftovers at all. I want to use some of this peacock, which is a primary element. Excuse me, prison pour, my mistake. I'm trying to go easy on this stuff, but it's hard. I don't have anything turquoise in there. This is the boysenberry ginger flower again. Put that down, Priscilla. I have green tea, and then I may go back to Fandango. But I'm thinking about putting a turquoise. That's the green tea. The green tea is awesome. I'm so surprised by how much I like that green tea. And where is the turquoise that I'm looking for? I have Sea Dancer. I think that's a primary element. And hopefully I've gone, I haven't gone overboard. I would like that to be level. I'm going to grab a little bit of PPG. Speed Hide. And 
going to put some PPG Speed Hide in my dish. It's a new, new idea to me that I've been playing with recently. I'd like that to go back on. That was nice. <laughs> that actually went very smoothly. I'm kind of wondering if I should put some interference in there. Interference red is not what I'm after. I think I'm ready to... Ah, there's some interference violet. And I meant to put more green and I'm going to do that right now. More Fandango. I hope it's not too much. Okay, so I'm going to take this paint and give it a bit of a spread. This is house paint. Latex house paint. And I've never tried doing this in sections before. And it should be rather interesting. If the greens go well, I may add something that makes it into more of a garden. Add some blooms of, of some sort. I kind of like to add some ginger flower now. But I was in the middle of mixing some, so maybe I'll just add some carnival. I grab a shovel. I'm going to take some of this and put it right over my puddle and try it. That's not coming off very easily. So here goes nothing. I still need to grab some Aussie Flow Troll. I'd really like a Princeton Art and Catalyst spatula, honestly. kind of like to take some of that white create a little negative space in there but I'm not sure how that's going to go I'm not sure what I'm doing is a good idea at all but that's how I find stuff out by doing it that's going in the bucket And then I'm going to take some more of this. And I'm still going to swipe. And yeah, it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. And guess what? <laughs> that would be correct. I want a more random pattern and less striped. And I don't know what I'm going to get, but I am going to grab a little bit more paint out of my dish. To heck with it, I'm just going to grab the rest of it. I hope they're not bad colors together when I swipe them. They're not my favorites right now, but that could change in a minute. Okay. I've got just enough paint in my pan to throw the residuals into that shovel in case I want it. And then I can throw the pan right into my bucket so I'll be able to use it again at some point if I should desire. Now, I was threatening to throw some carnival or some ginger flower in there, and I think I'm going to grab the ginger flower from across the room because I love the ginger flower. And who knows what's going to happen? I don't think I have nearly enough plum blossom in there.
and there's probably a few other colors I'd love to put in also. So I grabbed my favorite spatula, but then of course I did something with it. So I'm just going to grab the white, Amsterdam white, and the Aussie Floatrol. And I think in this case, I'm going to grab some of the Pebio iridescent blue-green. I did make a thicker batch of this, and I do seem to like the thickness of it. That was the white. I'm going to do this upside down. And I think I'm going to grab paint that's coming right off. That's not interesting so far, but I'm going to grab an edge catcher or paint stopper or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to give this an opportunity right now tip up. I could, and I have, swiped twice. I'm thinking about it right now. But I'm also thinking about doing all kinds of weird things. I see there's a lump of something in there. Let that roll right down. I rock it cover the bottom edge, and then send it right back up again. I hope that that's going to be okay. And I'm going to grab paint off my silicone mat. And use everything except for that lump, which I'm probably going to have to come back and grab out. I've got a little place that has no paint on the edge, so I'm going to use my, it's in my shovel. I'm probably going to grab a palette knife. I thought I might have enough of a house paint base to be able to do scoop and drag, but it's not seeming like that. It's not going to stop me. I do have some nice cells. I do like the purple. I like the purple a lot, actually. I haven't spun anything out yet, and I, I still need to... I know I'm not talking much, I'm sort of focused. 
I'm really interested in taking the paint off my palette knife, putting it right down over there. Let's grab my smaller palette knife and my skewer. The skewer I can dip. Of course I had to find a clot of paint on that. Things are beginning to set up a little bit, so I'm running out of time. Literally. All right, I've got a couple of minutes, a couple, three minutes, to tell you guys I do sell my artwork. I've got just enough paint and my shovel so I can cover my edges. It is time to spin if I was ever going to spin. means getting some of these things out of the way. Including the black paint. Making a small adjustment. Hoping you're still in view. And cross your fingers that this is gonna work. My fingers are crossed. I see paint flying, that's a good sign. I didn't have time to put any flowers in, but I like the foliage, so I'm not sure it needs any flowers. And I certainly still have Oh, I just put my fingers down in the paint. The ability to grab the paint that's sort of flying up. I did find my chain today, so I could actually put some chain in there, but I think I'm going to spin it out one more time. Maybe one more time in each direction. So you guys, I have over 2,700 videos, and if you'd like to have a link, you can ask me, because I've got them organized by topic and genre and by the hundred. And if you want to look for them yourself, they're on my YouTube channel. If you go to playlists, all playlists, created playlists, you should find them. And I should shimmer that at you. That's pretty fun. I got some cells. We got some stripes. Got all kinds of fun stuff. I'm going to be looking for lumps like that. Maybe it's not a lump. But I did put that, I did put those leftovers in there. I think. Oops, right down to paint to canvas. Okay. So I'm going to try and shimmer that, sh that at you because it should shimmer. Depending on if I can get it to shimmer or not. Because the season is getting darker and I have a lot of studio lights on, it's not as intense as it once was. Go right down in there. I'm going to be popping bubbles with uh, the sharp end of a skewer after you're gone. But that's fun. And next time I'm going to, I'm not going to put any more leftovers in. And next time I'm going to uh, try and add some flowers. I got a couple places that I'd actually like to. Um, drag a skewer through. I love you guys.
Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Priscilla out.